You know she will. In a heartbeat. She will call yeah. out. Like, it'll hurt her feelings a little bit because she really don't like to leave her people. But she will do it. And that's for rest. Rex is at the top. I call out for nine. Rex is at the top. He's like, cook you and Brittany all the way down. Um, what's going on, YouTube? It's me, Tiffany, and I'm here with my co host, Tanea. Hey, guys. And we're back with an all new video. It is Monday, November the 7th. Um,. I've just really been trying to recover all day. Um, it's really not going good for me. And I was happy <coughs> to hear from my friend Simone because me and my friend Simone had to go to work today. And we both have basically been dead since yesterday. <laughs> um, at about 4 o'clock, I literally looked at the time and was like, oh my God, Like I still feel like I just got out of bed. Like I'm not joking. <laughs> and you know how usually I go run and put a hat on, change my shirt? No, y'all going to get these thin ass edges tonight. And this drunk ass turtleneck, and we're gonna keep it moving. But, um, other than that, it's been an okay day. Like, I've just really been exhausted. Like, I literally feel like all of the energy is being sucked out of me. I had to go to work. And then the one day that I planned on calling out, my coworker just told me she took off. So, mm, damn. Might as well call out tomorrow. That. I think I should go to work tomorrow, too. I think <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm gonna be home. You can be home. We can chill. Our best friend. So anyway, I um, yeah, I was really tired today, but for some reason I was really hungry, and it's crazy because I said after the weekend that I had, I really was going to chill at work. So for breakfast I had coffee. A big one, a boiled egg. For lunch, I had some leftover beef and that my mama bought me, but I always pick the meat out, so I basically had noodles and sauce and cheese, and I had a baked chicken wing. And then I was so... Are you drinking? Like, my smell just came back. Oh, my God. <laughs> um, I have definitely But while I was at work, I was craving... Barbecue chicken, corn, and mashed potatoes. And whenever I want it, it's like, first of all, Tanea only makes barbecue chicken once in a blue moon these days. There was a time where we had it like every other week. I don't know what's going on. But when I had barbecue chicken, I really like to have like little party wings and they just slide off the bones. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to have to cook tonight because. Go, girl. She's on vacay. If I would have rolled in here and was like, she would have cooked it, but she would have bitched and slammed dishes around and stuff. I so, think whatever. So that made me right happy. In. That made me happy. That's the know. best way for me to cook a clean kitchen. So, but, um, how was your day off? My day off was amazing. What did you do? Oh my God. So I woke up. Um,. I brushed my teeth and pee, washed my face. We didn't need that much. Uh, oh, well, then um, I came back to my room. Tori was woke. She was just like, you want to get high? I was like, yes. So we did that. Then we watched some TV. <laughs> then, then we came downstairs and ate. And then we got high some more. Then I passed out with the sleep for about an hour. And then we did it all over again. And then she left. And now I'm drinking. So that was today's day. You know, <laughs> Mondays you don't go like that. I did clean like up. You I did. cleaned up the kitchen. I cleaned up the living room. And I tried to straighten up a little bit more in my room. That was a good... I mean, because when I came down here this morning, I was like, wow, I'm glad I don't have to do it. Because Tanea's off. So I was happy. Because it, it literally... Was a train wreck. It still looked like Tanea's birthday. <laughs> but, um... Tanea's birthday weekend was, first of all, you need to give some thank yous out because you didn't go to the comments. Every comment said happy birthday to you. Thank you, guys. I'm going to do that tonight. I can stay up because I don't have to go to work tomorrow. I just have to go vote. What time did you, you go to sleep? Again? My nap? No, what time did you go to sleep last night? I can't remember. Hmm. But was that late? No, it wasn't that late. Oh, you went to sleep. Remember you told me you want to stay woke until your eyes couldn't stay up open anymore? I did stay up until my eyes couldn't stay open anymore. And that wasn't as late as I thought it would exactly. be. Exactly. Like I told her ass it um, would be. Honestly, I don't know what time I went. I don't really remember my show last night. 
I mean, because I was telling her, like, yesterday when we was at the restaurant, she was like, yeah, I'm going in the house. Because, like, that's what she liked to do. Like, you know, when I have a day off, it's not like this big production. Like, I have to keep announcing that I'm staying late. <laughs> Staying up late because I'm off tomorrow. I can do what I want because I'm off tomorrow. It's like, okay, you're off tomorrow. <laughs> so she's all, yeah, because I'm staying up. And I'm looking at her like, this bitch. I honestly can't, can't remember. No nap yesterday. So I'm like, okay, you're staying. She's like, no, but I am staying late. I'm like, okay, it's a nap. But see, what I'm trying to tell her is that the age that we are, we don't have anything to prove. Because the thing is, no matter what time we go to sleep, we still wake up early right. in the morning. That's so it's like the good out. thing about her is she will wake up and go back to sleep. So that's why I was like, why do you need to stay up late? Like As you're not go- I like it. But she can't. That's what I'm trying to prove to you. Like she used to be able to stay up all night long. I'm telling you, unless she has a good nap, she's not making it past one o'clock. Right. Period. Um, I really don't remember much of last night. Um after coming home from the Restaurant. So let's talk about her birthday. So um, Friday, me and Cardi went to the laundromat. I couldn't smell shit, so that wasn't enjoyable. I mean, my whole thing is if I have to be punished because my washing machine is broke and go to the laundromat, the best thing about it is smelling everything because it smells amazing in there. Like, I could live in the laundromat just for the smell alone. But my nose has been stopped up since Thursday, and I can't smell anything. The first thing that I just smelled was Tanea's alcohol beverage. But, um, and Tanea went to go get her stuff. And then Saturday, I was really fit. You know what? That's the thing. That's probably why I feel weak today. Every time I'm sick, I never have the time to just rest. And Saturday was when I was really, really, really feeling weak. But Tanea needed me. So, um... Went to get pedicures for Tanea's birthday. We went to the store to finish prepping. Um, then I went to some stores to finish prepping after she came to the house. So Tanea cooked a wonderful meal for us. Um, we had fried rice. We had stir fried noodles. We had... Um, Teriyaki chicken and steak. We had sesame chicken wings. We had egg rolls. We had shrimp, shrimp and scallops to go along with our hibachi. And, and a vegetable stir fry. And a vegetable stir fry. It was so delicious, especially with the yum yum sauce. Oh my god. The teriyaki sauce was lit. I, don't eat yum yum. I didn't get any teriyaki sauce. We still had some. Like, I, you know what? I'm sitting here thinking about it. I didn't even eat any of the beef and chicken or the shrimp. All I had was, like, two scallops, mm-hmm. and I had you sesame wings. You really the messed out. The scallops were good. I love scallops. Oh, my God. I didn't know y'all were I really like them. You know what? Because I used to watch. I was, I was a really big Hell's Kitchen fan, and that's one of the main things on their menu are scallops. But, like, those nice, thick ones. Oh, my God. So good. Um, played a couple of games, watched the lounge on SNL, um, saying happy birthday. I got today a, a Drake cake, which was really no, cute. It came fine. out exactly the way I wanted to. And I was telling people on Snapchat yesterday that if you notice the cakes, I mean, most of the people who have been following me on social media, as I follow you too, they've been following me for years. So right. they've seen some cakes over the years. And all of my cakes come from Whitley's Bakery. But if you notice... None of my cakes are, like, really, really decorated. You know how people go all out? No, but see, what I need y'all to understand is what's lacking on the outside is definitely happening on the inside. No, that cake, I, a Woodley's cake is nothing else like it. I really wish I could send y'all all a piece. Oh, my God. It's so good. It's, like, light and fluffy and sweet. And then, that, but, like, because the cake is not too sweet, the icing oh goes God. with it amazing because I hate whipped cream icing. So it's still buttercream. Oh it's God. amazing piece of cake. It's so tell them about the drinks you made. So my theme for my birthday um, was literally anything is possible with a side of vodka on the side. Um, so what I made was um, mango Henny Rita's and this quite joyous blue punch that had a lot of vodka in it. Um, and it was a nice ass time. 
those margaritas was really good because some you re- if you drink Hennessy, you know you really can't mix that with sweet stuff. Mm-hmm. It doesn't do anything. But like it really, really tasted really good with the mango, so it went well, really good. And yeah, all of them seem to be extremely tipsy. I mean, um, at some point, at some point, I didn't know what I, was going on. I couldn't feel anything under my ankles. I didn't know what was going on. But it was a nice time. Like everyone was drunk, everyone was full, everyone was having a good time, and that's what I wanted to do for my six. 23rd birthday. Yeah, and I don't actually remember falling asleep, but I woke up on the couch and I was <laughs> so much pain. Like, I was, was so much I pain. I saw her laid out on the couch and I was just like, damn, it's she's going to be hurting. And then oh, I went upstairs. my God. Like, I literally woke up and drank a bottle of water. Like, I didn't stop for air. Like, I just kept <laughs> drinking. And then I popped to a leave and I drank a half a bottle of water. And then I tried to, like, lay in the bed. And I was like, no. I got up and took a shower. Like, I needed to come back to life because I was dead. And the minute that I got off the shower, lotion, put a nightgown on, like, yeah, let me just get, like, a couple hours sleep because I know they're dead. My friend texted me and was like, hey, y'all ready to wake and bake? <laughs> like, I I'm was up early. <laughs> I haven't turned 23 for the sixth time. I'm actually my age, and I feel every single day. <laughs> like, I, I can't. But, um, so I took them to one of my favorite carryouts that sells this amazing French toast. Better than that you can get in a restaurant, in anybody's home. Come to Baltimore so I can take you to get the best French toast. Well, Tanae had a chicken box because she don't eat French toast. But me, Tori, and Simone, fuck it up. Then we watched the Steelers and the Ravens game, and the Ravens killed the Steelers. I think I took a nap somewhere in there. I fell asleep. Like, I really don't remember much after that either. But um, then we went to Texas Roadhouse last night. Jesus. And you know what? I should have known when Tiffany was at. Because yesterday she was like, All right, we're going to go to Texas Roadhouse after we leaving out at 4 30. So I'm like, All right, cool. So, you know, I don't think I, I didn't go to sleep because, like, it, I was just like, I don't want to be the one that we, you know, right. that makes us late. So, me and Tori started moving because me and Tori are easily the ones that are not ready. It's like 10 after 4, and I'm like, where's Tiffany? Cardi's like, oh, she ain't on her. That's it. She don't say, like, you sleep or anything. So, I go in there. Tiffany is wrapped up in all of her blankets, snoring up. And so I'm like, Tiff, Tiff, it's 10 minutes after 4. We got to go. So she's like, oh, okay, I'm about to get up, leave the room, go do what I got to do. I know this is like 435, still no peep from Tiffany. I go in the room, Tiffany is still knocked out in her bed. Like, she needed, she needed some. And she... The thing is, with me, naps don't do good for me, especially interrupted naps. Like, if I'm a nap, I have to sleep all the way through. But the thing about my nap is, my body doesn't understand a nap. Like, when my body goes to sleep, it's time to go to bed. Like, so any time I wake up, I'm breaking my sleep, which gives me a headache, and it just makes me feel weird. So that's how I felt until I got a roll, and then I came back to life. Mm. It was a Texas I ate old. three rolls yesterday. I think I ate three or four. They I were had, delicious. The, I had two from the baskets and then my one on my plate with my shrimp, I swallowed. It was so good. I <sighs> had steak, shrimp, chef salad, cheese fries, rolls. Oh I had God. steak, rib, shrimp. A Caesar salad. It was a bomb. And that's why I was like, I don't deserve nice things. Like, I don't deserve this dinner that I'm about to cook. I deserve nothing but, like, air. Like... I shouldn't even be able to eat salad. <laughs> like, I literally should probably have, like... Like, rice cakes. Steam, that's what I deserve. A rice cake and steamed string beans. Yeah, like a carrot. Them. That's it. Like, I only deserve a carrot. But, um... Yeah, because we ate re- Ridiculously. Yeah, it was it was it was bad. But um that's what happens, you know, Tanae and food, they go together, so Thanks. That's why I'm um so did you enjoy your birthday? I really did enjoy my birthday. I enjoyed every part of it. I had a very, very nice time. She got birthday gifts. I got birthday gifts. Birthday cake. I got birthday birthday cake, love. Birthday cards. Birthday balloons. Birthday everything. Yeah, she had balloons everywhere. Um, I got so much love from supporters and viewers and 
just everybody like it was kind of overwhelming like I was just I felt really happy and I felt really loved because nobody had to you know really acknowledge my birthday but me and other people did so I was very happy about that I'm really happy it's over um it's not over it comes so fast and it leaves so fast and I just I'm thankful like you know because I'm a person who celebrates her birthday on one day that's it the people in this house think that they're supposed to celebrate the whole season of whatever season they're on. Okay. I'm celebrating you know, all the Scorpio season. Cancer season, drags in this house, Libra season, Scorpio season. Let me tell you something. Aquarius season lasts one day in here. And then it's over. Like, for me, anyway, I don't, you know, I really don't understand. But, um, because anyway. When you a baby and you born, people be so excited. Like, oh, my God, let me see the baby. Like, they, they, only, they don't only celebrate you the first day you here. So you gotta continue the celebration. Um. Anyway, tomorrow is election day. Make sure you vote. I'll be saying that. Where are you going? I'm just going to need something to drink. I'll be saying that throughout. The, this is an interesting outfit. <laughs> I just found my slippers yesterday. These are not yours. Yes, they are. These are mine. Um. Election day is tomorrow. You got regular army for if me. you don't vote, you're trash. Know that. If I don't you care. vote for Trump, you're trash. If you don't vote, you're trash. I mean, <laughs> I just, I, I don't care whose feelings are hurt about it. I don't care if you've been supporting me for years. Let's agree to disagree. You're trash. So, because if you're not voting, clearly you don't care about me or yourself. So, um, yeah, not unless you're a rich white person, so it probably doesn't matter to you. Right. I mean, when we start going to war and stuff, it'll probably affect you, so whatever. But um, let's get into the show. First thing we're going to talk about is this Jay-Z concert um, that he threw to campaign for Hillary Clinton to endorse her to get people to vote. Um, see, here's the thing. I just, I can't handle the cards because I knew about this whole... Jay Z was throwing this benefit concert. Okay, cool. Nobody let me know about Beyonce. Like there were rumors all day and the day before that Beyonce might be coming. Beyonce might be coming. Okay, I'm at the laundromat. Remember my phone was broke all last week, so I'm not checking Twitter or nothing. I get home, it's a full blown fucking production going on. I get on Beyonce Legend. Beyonce's decked out in the polka dot stripes and shit. The Ashley and them, she done yanked their asses from off of vacation. Kimmy and Ashley, the mamas are there. Big Sean is there. Chance the Rapper is there. Like, everybody's there. I didn't know anything about this Beyonce up there talking about vote for Hillary. I want my daughter to this and that. I'm like, what What the hell? Like, me miss this vote much? Vote for Hillary. 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 It's so funny. But, um, I heard that the concert is supposed to be coming to title because... I think only thing I saw was Beyonce performing Formation, and I saw like clips of her and Beyonce, her and Jay Z on stage, but that was it. Other right. than the pictures that Beyonce uploaded, and I just was feeling some type of way. I'm like, why didn't y'all broadcast this shit from Title? This is what I pay for. Give me my behind the scenes. I want them. A whole damn Beyonce concert happened, and I didn't get to see any of it. I just I feel some type of way, and like she really didn't come to play with these hoes. Like she really came out in the Formation hat and all. Dressed like she was at the, um, what's that shit she was at with Blue Ivy was no pictures. Yeah. C CDF or CFB yeah, or CDF. whatever. CDF. The fashion place mm -hmm. awards that she won. That's how she was dressed. Like, I just was feeling some type of way. Like, because I'm not that person. I usually know all things Beyonce. And I didn't know this shit. So I just, I feel some type of way. But from what I saw, it was amazing. Lit. Okay? Lit it was lit. And I just hope that. People in the audience were Beyonce fans. I mean, it seemed like y'all were because I know some haters in there, but... um, There's always some haters everywhere. So, basically, Donald Trump feels like because Hillary went and got Beyonce and Jay-Z that um, she basically cheated. How? He feels like all of the black people are going to vote for ah! her now because... Beyonce and Jay-Z have all of the control over, over, over black people. And that's not true. That's not true. I mean, because there's plenty of things that Beyonce has endorsed that I'm not a fan of, so. It's so many black people that don't like Beyonce. It's, right, so. There's so many white people that like Beyonce. So it's just like, sorry, what are you saying? What are you saying? Regardless. You're trash regardless. Like, don't blame this on Beyonce. It just amazes me, like. Beyonce has been all over CNN this entire you election. You know you trying to talk about Hillary saying, like, 
because of Jay Z, he curses and he used to be a drug dealer, and that's what she has to support him. I'm like, excuse me, grab him by the pussy. You cannot say another thing. Honestly, it's nothing can't. you can't you can say. Yeah. So, um, shout out to them though, and I, I do. I actually hope that even if it didn't get you, I mean, no, well, that's not true. I was about to say even if it didn't get you to vote for him, Jay or Jay Z or Chance or fucking Big Sean persuaded you to go get your ass up and vote if you weren't already going to do it. I mean, if that's what you need, a push by Beyonce. Some people really do everything that Beyonce say. They live off of Beyonce's word. I get it. But what I'm saying is, get your asses up and vote. Yeah. Vote tomorrow. I already told today, tomorrow, I'm going to be looking like a crackhead with a blunt up to my lips, shaking, waiting for the results to come in state by state. I'm going to be a wreck tomorrow. Vote for Hillary. Vote for Hillary. Vote for Hillary. That's going to be me in the line. Um, but yeah, so the concert took place in Cleveland and everything seemed to be wonderful. There are plenty of pictures of Beyonce, Jay-Z, and Hillary. And I will say, if you put the pictures that she took with Hillary Friday next to pictures she's taken with Obama, they do look a lot different. I mean, there were a lot of comparisons. And it's kind of like Beyonce feels the same way we do. This is we're not bad. voting for Trump, so... Vote for Hillary. Hillary. Vote, vote for Hillary. Hillary. Vote, vote for Hillary. Hillary. Exactly. Yo, so. Big Frida got one with that one. I'm telling you. So, like I said, in the middle of Tanae's, uh birthday thing, we were eating and kiki and I think we were playing Cards Against Humanity and we were taking breaks to watch Solange on SNL. Um, Solange is hilarious to me, Solange. I hope she goes on tour with this show. Because Listen, I can't wait to see it. Now, I will say with the first performance, which I, I'm so... See, that's what I like about Salon. She's so down to earth. She's so real. And she said it. I was nervous. There were sound problems, but I still got through that first performance. Everybody's human. There are right. going to be mistakes. You know what I mean? So... I mean, but anybody listening could tell it was something wrong with her sound. Right. But she didn't let that... You know, some people will let that mess up the whole right. performance. She didn't let that happen. And I mean, when you're nervous... Things happen. So, I, but I, I still enjoyed it. I enjoyed that big thing she had on her head for the first performance. And listen, it, which one? No, I don't think it was Cranes. Though for Cranes, I think she stopped and did a little dance too. Oh. Do, do, do. Is that the. No. I'm on. I'm still on. Oh. Don't touch my hair. I think it does the second one. But how do you. Is it a break part in Cranes where she can stop and dance? No, but I, that's what she did in Cranes. She did. It's like crazy. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. But I would have to say the second performance was my favorite. Yeah, it was lit. Oh my gosh, she looked so beautiful. Her hair was so nice. I liked her outfit and her bringing out what's the boy named Sam? Sam. Yeah, Sam. And you know, like him being over there with the background singers and then just popping up and dancing with her. I mean, but really, that. Yo. It was a good time. It was a good thing. It was like they was going down a soul train line. Right. Like, it was fucking hilarious. I really enjoyed it. And the whole performance, both of them were just so black. Mm -hmm. They were so black. First of all, she sung both of the songs that I wanted her to sing. I mean, Simone really wanted her to sing Fubu. I wanted her to sing Fubu, too. I don't know if that would have been appropriate for SNL. Whatever. But, like, a lot of them would have been bleak. Right. Out, so, so uh, but I really enjoyed Don't Touch My Happy. I love the background dances, how they were doing their little thing. And the, I told the, um, um, it, the people who played the, the yeah. musicians were doing their own thing. Yeah, who was it? The guitarist that was there? Yeah, going off. But I was telling Tanae and them, I was like, look at everybody's hair. Like, afros, dreads, cornrows, twist outs. Like, it was just so black. Mm -hmm. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it and like I always say if I was Tina Knowles I mean every parent is proud of their kids but Tina Knowles kids are Beyonce and Salon she bragged different let's be clear she, right let's be clear I mean and you can just see through their music and personalities and the type of people they are what type of person Tina was and what type of mother she was and it's just such a good accomplishment like she really did a good job with them they are both very proud to be black and that's what she want I mean I'm proud to be black but it wasn't like my mother was Putting my right. fist up in the air like black people are everything, right. Tiffany. You are royalty. Probably like you know me. You're royalty. You are black. 
So, you know, that wasn't Cindy, but we definitely what? were proud to be uh, African American. So, um, that was a good time. And I enjoyed all the behind the scene pictures. Of, only thing I didn't like was where the hell was Blue? Oh, yeah, we did see Blue backstage at the concert with Hillary where she was yawning. She was ready to get the fuck she out of She was tired. She was, it was tired. tired to go to bed. But, um,. She, yeah, no. They took pictures with um, Solange's husband, her son, Jay Z, B, Tina. No blue, blue. She was home. She was active. You Maybe she stayed the night over Titans, cause you know they did the uh, the uh, oh, mannequin yeah, uh, challenge. Titan. By the way, I'm obsessed with the mannequin challenge, and I'm so pissed. That I didn't know about it a lot this weekend because we could have did it. Yeah, there was plenty like, of people in the house. I'm so we're definitely going to do it. I don't know when. Oh, we're busting off this mannequin challenge, and I can't. Wait. Can I be the cameraman? No. So um, you can be like at the stove, like. I can't stay still. Yes, you can. Don't smile though. But um, so yeah, Destiny's Child put out a mannequin challenge. I mean, they were all at Titans' birthday party this past weekend, so. It only made sense, but people are saying that sources, which I don't believe no damn sources, I only believe Beyonce. bring me the receipts that Beyonce, Kelly, and Michelle are actually preparing to do a reunion tour, supposedly and CD, but they won't be going at um, they won't be going by the name Destiny's Child anymore. See, that's the part I didn't really what? understand. I'm hoping that this message is all wrong because no, no. They not going by Destiny's Child. That's what they said. Destiny's women? I don't know. Okay. And they saying that... See, now that's why I know some of us a lot talking about all of the women. Even the past are all coming together. Come Lies, on. you Come tell. on now. Come on now. Come on now. Hell y'all doing too Come much. on now. But best believe, um, I'm about to start my Destiny's Child fun. Because I do feel like Beyonce is up to something. So I just need to be fully prepared. Um, Real Housewives of Atlanta returned last night, and even though today I went to the screen kicking and screaming, I thought it was a pretty good episode. Like, I actually missed them a little bit. I didn't know it until I was watching. I'm like, oh my god. I mean, there is the void of no Nene, but I feel like this episode didn't even need Nene. Like, it was pretty good. How did you feel about it? I mean, it was an okay episode. I definitely didn't miss it. If I never have to watch it again, I'll be fine. Don't worry, guys. She will be watching it Sundays. But just to go through them, so Candy has had the baby now. Um, I mean, I did hear a lot of people were criticizing Candy for potty training her son. He's only five months. I mean, my thing is, it, it is a little weird, but that's her fucking son. Like, right. who cares? I mean, if that's what help her son... not teaching him fucking cuss words. Right, like, and she said she did the same thing with Riley, so it's like... Okay. I mean, my own, only thing I'm waiting for this season with Candy is to find out what happened with this whole Portia Todd and Candy threesome that was supposed to happen or supposed what? this, that, this, this, and that, that, that. So, um, I'm excited to hear about that because it was a lot of rumors about it and Candy was denying it, but when she was on the reel the other day, like I said, she was saying, you know, me and Portia did kiss and Portia did invite me and Todd back to her hotel room, but that's about it. So, of course, everybody's trying to make it seem like I was fishing at the Porsche because I'm the so-called freak. <coughs> and I was just like, this is a mess. It is a mess. And a y'all mess. all are all Y'all keep growing my this shit. But um, Ace is a cutie. You know, I've only, I only saw him on pictures. I thought he was cute last night. Ace I, is cute. I love his smile. Yeah, he's a cutie. So, I'm shy. It's crazy because she said, you know, when I came in this... I was basically, you know, single on my own with just Riley, and now I'm the married one and the happy one, and everybody else is like, right. I don't think anybody else is married. Um, Cynthia, I mean, but she's trying to get a divorce. Um, Kenya, girl, more manner is finally kinda done. I mean, I will say this: more manner does look nice. Okay, it doesn't look homey though. Like when and they, they had done. The, I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I mean, you know, they got a couple sockets to fix and a couple. Her fucking driveway needs to be done. It's rocks at the bottom that that bitch tried to put a fucking carpet over. And goddamn, a major almost put to a goddamn ankle. It <laughs> ain't <laughs> fit. But you know what's funny? Major would have seen the shit. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Hold on. And then let's talk about Sheree walking up the steps. She gagged so hard, like she couldn't even talk. She no. When uh, when got she was like, ah, she I was like, 
bitch. Sheree! You should have never left. Like, she should have never left. <laughs> she is so shady. So, like I said, I mean, it's... My whole thing is, Kenya, you already know what this is. Like, first of all, my whole thing with Kenya and Sheree are, y'all too worried about what each other are thinking. Yo, like, y'all too thing grown is, for that shit. The first thing out of Kenya's mouth is, because I don't have time for Sheree. Like, girl! Sheree is not paying for a thing over there. Right. Why does it even matter? But... Um, Wait, no, not yet. Oh, that's no, not yet. So, like I said, what's done so far, to me, it just doesn't look homey. Like, it almost looked like, looks like a center. Like, when everybody was in there, it just, it wasn't, it didn't have the feeling. It looked like a building. It looked like a building. It looked like a goddamn building. And, Kenya, how stupid are you to have this housewoman and your shit not together? Are you stupid? Like, it's like you wanted like, them to pick you apart. Like, retarded. Like, I don't, who has a housewoman? People, okay, let me tell you about this. People who move in a house, who don't, not even have it built, wait until their house is somewhat settled, stuff put up, before you have a housewoman, like... You can't have a housewoman and it's still construction. It was sand all over their clothes. Right! It was Kenya, Kenya. trash. Kenya, you're trash. trash. And you know what? And your dogs walking around pissing and shit. I think first they show Candy, then they went to Kenya. Kenya was like a sentence in to the season and she was already being shady. So everything that people... The first people... thing she said out her mouth was something like how Portia looking like... How oh yeah, makeup. without makeup. And I, you know what, Kenya? Every piece of shade that people throw towards you, I don't feel bad. You I deserve don't. it all. You deserve it. And for you to have that half done as housewoman, you definitely and deserve it. And I just want to know, Kenya, you know what you look like without makeup? Wait a minute. Crater oh face? my God. Kenya without makeup. Crater Jesus. Face. I mean, last night at the housewoman, she actually looked pretty. I told Tanae, I was like, damn, Kenya looked pretty tonight. It's a I mean, but don't let the camera get too close, bitch, because we know what's up. Second, how the hell you gonna have a half done ass housewoman, but send a goddamn horse and carriage to drop off the invites, bitch? Like that don't even go together. I don't. The girl is retarded. I mean, you could have mailed them for all that. Like, girl, you spent too much money on the invitations. You should have spent more money into fixing the house. And I already told you, like, I'm not a fan of the house anyway. It's in a goddamn ditch. Like, let's pray it's never a flood in uh, Atlanta because. Your shit's going to be messed up. Not unless you got some serious shit done. Sheree to took it. off her heels and walked around. Yeah, Sheree said, uh uh, let me put on my flats because I'm like, not breaking my neck down. Like, the I could have my sneakers. Thank God it doesn't get too snowy and icy in Atlanta because, bitch, that driveway, you will be, uh, girl, you will be stuck down there and you will be sliding down that bitch. Like, can you, can you, girl? Um,. Phaedra is still shadier than ever. Her divorce is finally finalized. She don't give a fuck what anybody got to say, including Apollo. I don't care what divorce you didn't want. You're getting one. Her kids are now three and six. I don't know what, what it is. It's something about Dylan that I love so much. Like, he's just not here for it. You know, like, Aiden has a lot to say, but Dylan is just like, give me my sippy cup. Thank you. Like, I really, really fucks with him. But, um, yeah, Phaedra was just, you know, her normal shady self about to get back on the market. Hopefully somebody get it. She said that um, she heard it's crazy people on Christian Mingle, so. Um, Don't look for her. Yeah, she probably won't be on Christian Mingle, but um, I'm hoping that she finds a good man. I mean, I feel like somebody that's going to be with Phaedra, like, you really going to have to be a boss because she's a she's boss. She's a boss. She's a boss. Like, she has the money. She has the look. She's just, yeah, so. And plus, you're going to have to be a great man to come into her, her son's lives because, She's raising respectful two men. Two kings. Yeah, she's raising, okay. She's raising Mr. President kings. and little Aiden are two kings, so get your life right. Um, then we go to Portia, looking a bomb as always. Like, Kenya, I don't even know why you waste your time. You are such a hater. Portia. Portia is such a bomb. Portia is a bomb, like, with or without From makeup. Like, girl, bye. First and, of all, Portia hair always on fleek. fleek. Her hairstylist say hair all it. the time. They not having it. They not having it. Good. All the time. Eyelashes, you know, all the time. <laughs> so my only thing is with Portia is that me and today was saying like, why does everybody try to make it seem like Portia is this monster just because she, she beat Kenya? She, she needs to get the whip. She like, only oh. dragged her. Like that's what I'm saying because like if you go back to the beginning of these shows, <sighs> Nene. Kim and Sheree 
had been some arguing all up in your face, very confrontational uh -huh. people. And it's like, only thing they didn't do that Kenya did was drag... Um, that Portia did. Well, that Portia did was drag somebody. Right. But they were still as confrontational, but they really paint Portia out to be a monster. A monster. But don't so. forget, she got attacked by Cynthia last season. Like... And nobody... Y'all ain't talking about that no more. Y'all know damn well we all want to have a whip Kenya's ass anyway. I don't know why y'all... Kenya deserved it. She deserved it. She deserved more. Like, let somebody pull out a bullhorn and put that shit in my ear. Hey, let me tell you something. I would have beat Kenya's ass. ass. Early like, on. See, because I would have took my shoot. See, so no, because Portia would have The thing killed. is, because if you want to take me off this show and I'm going to lose my feet, then I'm really going to whip her ass. Like, right. it's going to be more than a drag. Um, so moving on to Sheree. Listen, Chantel Sheree, it took five years, but bitch. It's bad. Well done. It's so nice. Kenya, it's nothing. And I mean nothing. You ain't got shit on Chantel You can say Sheree. about Chantel Sheree. I don't give a damn if it's not finished. It's, it's more. Yours isn't finished. Girl. Girl. I literally feel like more more manor could be what is that what's called more manor more manor more manor could be placed inside of Chateau Charay like girl it shut would up. be like the guest house right like it's oh. it's so nice and um Charay is just so damn shady and why she gonna tell her daughter that you can stay at Townhouse Tierra I forgot about the oldest daughter oh my god. But little Cairo that grew up. Yo, Cairo was cute that season. Hey, Cairo. That they went to go visit. Um, was that last season? <laughs> yeah. When they went to, and Cairo was that? Hey, like, the cop, yeah. When he went to D.C. with them. Yeah, hey, Cairo. Cairo's lit. Um, and Sheree's shady, you know, as ever. And, you know, people were kind of picking with a last name. Like, why Sheree being shady already? But Kenya deserves it, so. Sh I don't care. Sheree's always been shady. That's true. I mean, I guess some of y'all are new to, you, you know, Sheree. I don't know. Not but. real sensitive. And last but not least, uh, Cynthia. You know, Cynthia. <sighs> Cynthia, 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 Cynthia. You should have just listened to your mother and sister from the beginning. <laughs> uh-uh, that ain't right. It would have saved so much money. I mean, Cynthia, <sighs> the thing is, is that, I mean... I applaud you for not staying in a marriage that you are unhappy. I have to go about it. Yeah, because so many people stay in marriages unhappy. So I applaud you for getting out of that. Right. But it's just like, you and Peter are too much. That damn Peter, she gonna ask Peter, do you know anything about the prenuptial agreement? Oh, it must be wherever we did the um, marriage license. I'm like, this Peter, like, Jesus. Oh my God. Peter is shady. So I'm just, I'm hoping that they can hurry up and get through it because I'm kind of over it. I was loving Noelle though next season. She got questions. So. Yeah, Noelle not here for the shits. And Noelle was dropping tea like, because I heard y'all arguing. I heard y'all fussing and arguing. What's going on? These kids are really growing up. Only person that ain't growing up is uh, Riley. She, uh, she growing up. She was big from the start. Yeah. But, um, Mentally, I don't know. So yeah, um, I'm, 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 I'm really see Cynthia. What you not understanding is I, I haven't forgotten the way you acted that season. I don't know what season it was, but you turned. You turned on Nene. You turned into a bitch, and you really tried to act the like you were somebody somebody's. that you wasn't. And I haven't forgotten. I'm holding a grudge, Cynthia. I, I'm holding a grudge, and because I used to be a Cynthia fan, but um. Hey, I mean, personally, I feel like Peter has a boyfriend somewhere, so. Yikes. Yeah, I mean, I'm just saying. I mean, didn't they, didn't they ask her about infidelity last night? Yeah, she kind of. there's been no infidelity. The lawyer did. <laughs> but, um, I'm looking forward to the rest of, uh, you know, this, uh. Oh, well, of course she's going to say it's no, inf no infidelity because last season they were trying to say that he was cheating on her with that girl from the bar. You remember that he was all over? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So she got that that through quick. Shout out to Real Housewives of Atlanta. I probably won't review it every week, but um, I definitely wanted to do the first show. Next, I want to talk about Wendy Williams and Black China. My thing with Wendy Williams is, I mean, girl, girl, like, 
you know, she's talking about how Black China comes from the pool and, you know, she's going to come up and, um, you know, this is awful come, come up. She's really not even into Rob. I mean, then she puts up like a close up of Rob's face and it's just like, come on. I mean, seriously. And I'm just like, girl, really? like, can he we get a so close great. up of your face? Let's not. Can we get a close up of your face? And then, you know, you want to bring her mother in it and then you start... You know, basically, really talking bad about Rob. You know, saying that he's gained all this weight and he's depressed and he um, things we all know. He doesn't have any confidence and you know she just really spent too much time. And I I applaud Blake China for saying something because Blake China is definitely at the celebrity status where she could still clip back like that. You know what I mean? So um, cause see, don't let me and Tanae get a little bit of famous. The first thing that Wendy says about us, I'm going in on that ass. Like, yo, y'all, I'm gonna continue to go in on Wendy. Now, see, I'm gonna be on the shade room. Like, that's how bad I'm gonna go in on her ass. Girl. And it's not gonna be no, no, no caption. It's gonna be a video of me talking about her. And all of the years that I couldn't stand her ass. So, yeah, she was talking about Wendy and shit. Um, Wendy was talking about Black China and them. So, this is what Black China said. Wendy, 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 you lost your motherfucking mind, ho. How dare you speak on me, my fiance, and my mom like you are at the Christmas table with us. I find it so funny how you like to talk about Rob and his insecurities like at some point in time you wasn't a fat 400 pound ass mm. bitch on the radio. You telling him to put some bass in his voice. You want him to be like Kevin? Right. You want Rob to put some bass in his voice and a fist upside my head next, right? You want him to be like your husband. Rob is my man. Mine. I love him for who he is, which is why we are together. Therefore, it doesn't fucking matter what you think or want him to be. He's not for you, bitch. Then let's talk about this little vendetta you have with my mom. Wendy... Wendy, bitch, you're cruising, honestly, truly. You go out there talking about my family like you just hit the pipe backstage. Mm. When I decided to do this show, I knew I would be letting the world see us. But your horse face ass woke up on the wrong side of the stable and decided to go overboard Jesus. with your fuckboy comments. Oh. Bitch, fuck you. Peabody ass ho. Bitch. Mm. I've been waiting for somebody to call her ass a pee. She is shaped like a goddamn and you know what? Somebody put up the letters E-T-T-Y yesterday and put Wendy Williams in front and I swear to God it looked like Petty. I swear. Like, this ain't even on no shade shit. She literally looks like the shape of a P. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> But you don't have to talk about people like that, Wendy. It's just, it's trash. I wish Chris, Chris uh, Jenner would speak really, ass. Uh, somebody needs to for harassment. She is a bully. So, I'm um, yeah. Just like Donald Trump. Where are you going? I gotta go to the party. So. Oh, oh bless. Same crazy I'm putting barbecue sauce can. on You want a couple of whatnot? Yeah. Right. Um, moving on to some bitch named LaPortia that uh, didn't even win American Idol. Oh! <laughs> Try to come for Beyonce. So let me tell y'all what she said. A whole lot of nothing. It was so She said, nothing. I didn't feel like the dress matched that song. I didn't feel like her movements matched that song. It was confusing. And people couldn't so even grasp funny. the beautiful message of that song. She was thrusting her hips and popping her butt. Country people, I don't even think they do that. They didn't even like it because the essence of country wasn't there. So basically, LaPortia is saying that she doesn't understand why Beyonce went to the CMAs. She feels like she didn't dress right. She ain't in formation. She, she's definitely not in formation. So and she's supposed to be on a come up, and you come in for the top of the food chain? Right? Yeah! Like, you're supposed to be making she friends making with people, and ass. you're supposed to be making definitely. friends with people in this career that you want to be a part of, and the person who's at the top 
of the crew that you want to be a part of, you want to literally go and make a video. Like, you're not going to sit and talk to your friends, your homegirls on the phone about it, you literally made a video and then you want to say the essence of country music was not there. Let me tell you one thing. Black people are the essence of country music. We made country music. What do you mean? Well, she was on like a live feed and somebody said, I, did, I never said that. I never said that white people invented it. I know black people. Did. No, see, no, but that's, see, that's exactly what you said. The essence of something is the root of something, where it made from, where it was made from, who it came from. Break it down. It came from black people and God. Break it down. So, I mean, LaPorsha. You, what you say, you sound like an idiot. You, and then she going to say, people who, um, people who perform country, something, she said something about like wearing jeans. Hey, did you watch the awards? Did you see Kurt Did you see what they had on? They don't, they, so what do you mean? Oh, because they, Sound country, they're cowboys, so they're wearing jeans because they're on the farm. Are you, like, stereotyping people? Like, is that what you're doing? I just don't understand. Like, your whole statement was wrong. As Like, how the video that you made of that, you need to come back with another one apologizing for how much of an idiot you are. So, LaPorsha, see, my thing is, <clears throat> I actually went and I watched... I remember back when American Idol was on, see, because I didn't even watch your season, but I kept hearing such nice things about you. I believe you performed Halo too by Beyonce. Um, and I watched your home go, your hometown thing where you know they come back and you know the whole town is there and they have a big parade. And I think I had showed you, and I was like, oh my god, this was so sweet. Like, we don't even know who you are, the Porsche. Like, we don't know who the fuck you are. You're a runner up, bitch. Like, you're not yeah, even the winner. You're a runner up, bitch. That's it. Like, you're not number one. You didn't win. Like, I don't understand, like, why you would even... Like, I think it was Mikel said earlier, this is something that you talk about at your dining room table with your friends. You don't get on Periscope and talk That's about the like, like that. Like, come on, bitch. If I wanted to be a stylist, do you think I would get on Periscope or whatever and have a go-in session on June Ambrose or Ty? I want to be a stylist. Do you think I would even do that to, uh, to Emily? See, the thing is with Portia, now no one will ever check for you. Like, you'll just have the same fans that you already had. And I hadn't heard nothing about you until this came out. No. When was, how long has American Idol been out? People are about to put <clears> you <throat> in the same category as they did. As oh, make they did um, Carrie Hilson I and mean, that goddamn um, Keisha Cole. Like, I mean, at least... Carrie Hilson got an album out and, True. you know, did some videos. And she's songs, a great writer. Had a couple features, you know. Portia, <clears throat> you never started and now you never will start. You'll be nothing but the bitch that was on American Idol. You will never be Fantasia, bitch. Never. Yes. Ever. You oh, my shit. God. You will never Look at you. Be another baby. black woman trying to tear down another black woman. I just Trash. Don't Take that afro off your head. Go ahead and get you a fucking relaxer and dye that shit blonde. And go get in the CMA's audience and wear your jeans. Yay. Bitch. All right. And I went to your comments and I saw the bees. That's right, Beehive. Attack her. Go off. So, um... This morning, Mary J. Blige dropped her video for uh, Thick of It. I thought and it came out already. No, it was supposed to. Like, it had a release date and everything, and then they pulled it back. Um, you know what, Mary? I'm just so happy that you're back to this side. You know, I hate to say that when you're heartbroken and, you know, how off, whatever. Um, it's your best music. And right now, you're hurting. And you know what I was thinking while I was watching it? I wonder what people, I mean, how this, uh, what's his name, Ken do? Mm-hmm how he feels because so many people are listening to this record right now and mm -hmm. everyone knows it's about you. Yeah. So, how does that feel? Like, I wouldn't even want to be seen in public. Like an ass. Like, you should really feel like an asshole. And in this video, she's classic, Mary. Gold hair, fucking knee highs. You know she love a thigh high. Knee high, thigh, thigh high. high. Mm -hmm. Her yonkers head. See, let me tell you something about uh, MJB. She reps in New York to the fullest, okay? 
and it, this video was no exception. And it was just classic Marianne. I feel like the song is classic Marianne. I'm really excited. And you know what? It's nothing like putting out some heartbroken music because all these bitches are heartbroken. So it will sell. Yeah, definitely. So shout out to Mary. I mean, I always want Mary J. Blige to win. And she was just here this past weekend. And I heard she was simply amazing. So She was here on my birthday. Right. And now that I think about it, like, I really didn't care to see Maxwell. But when I was looking at people's clips, you know, she did real love. See? Oh, yeah. I was on She did, um... Cause it's my window pane. Oh, that's my song. It's my, yo, the whole crowd was singing. Yes. It was oh lit. God, and yeah. then Maxwell did. I should be crying, but I just can't. I was like, damn, I probably would have had a good time. But I didn't want. I, of course, today I didn't want you to have my birthday, but <clears throat> that would have been a good time. Yeah, it would have. No, I think about it. Um, Alicia Keys' new album dropped on Friday. I don't even know the name of it. I'm here. This is me. I don't know. Um, Alicia Keys dropped a new album Friday. I listened to about four songs and I stopped because um, you don't disrespect anyone's art, which I'm not about to do, but I just feel like this is not for me. And I feel like unless Alicia, like how uh, Mary J. Blige is doing now, you know, she had a moment where she kind of went to the other side a little bit. A little bit of pop. You, you know, the little bit yeah. of pop. You know. But one of her pop songs is one of the best songs. Just find out. Yeah. Find yeah. Out. yeah. I mean, but hey, I'm more of a real love Mary. You know, fine, fine, fine is cool. But see, Alicia, unless you're going to take it back to Ooh, I keep on falling giving this Alicia Keys album a chance even though I knew I shouldn't have the one song that she put out I think Thursday night he was like oh he was liking it it sucked me in like I was thinking he was like my ears are literally bleeding like I don't know why uh, I would uh, 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 <clears throat> he put up a clip like a day later and was like okay cause I just wanted to make sure it wasn't just me oh my god like I don't need I... <sighs> congratulations on your new album Alicia Keys because see the thing is is that I still love Alicia I was a really big fan of Alicia. I still love her, but... I loved Alicia when I thought she was a lesbian. Because when that first album came out, everybody thought she was a lesbian. And you know it. Everyone I mean, this did. is just the punishment when you take somebody else's husband. Like, God, God takes your boys. Uh, moving on. Uh, Yo, and something going to happen to Aniko. And... Uh, and where I um, want to move on. Just <laughs> oh, wait, one, you know, T.I. put up a pose... Uh, and he was just saying how he felt about Lil Wayne and his comments about how the Black Lives Matter movement doesn't, you know, it doesn't have anything to do with him. And he was just saying how he felt, you know. We've, we've had family dinners together. You know, our kids have grown up together. We're from the same community. I just don't understand, like, how he was like to say, I don't understand how you could say something we, like, like we almost, well, right. Like, we're... I've known you for so long, like, how dare you say something like this? But it was a long-ass paragraph. Yeah, it was really long. Raising a boy, her little grown Grown ass. ass. Like, girl! And you know what? Because you know what? When I first saw it, it didn't even click in my mind, like, oh my god. Like, Tiny and Toya. It's your fucking daughter. Tiny and Toya, like, what is Tiny thinking right now? Like, what did Tiny and Toya think when they saw that? Because that's like their niece. Raising a so Rachel Day comes on the day and she's like, "You don't got his, you don't got his number. Like the phone don't work no more." 
the phone does work. But this needed to be public because this is one of his closer friends. So I just need so to I think let y'all know. Put, I, I don't just, feel that same way. I'm just as disappointed as you guys are. I don't feel that way. Like, Wayne, what the fuck is wrong with you? Ray Jane, you can have a fucking Yo, Or are you, are you all lying that bitch? Come get your grown-ass fucking daughter. Like, what the fuck? Come get your fucking daughter with her grown ass. I love you, Regine, but I ain't like that shit. She's too fucking grown, and I've been saying that for years. So, um, again, I just wanted to say, I hope you guys are checking out the mannequin challenge. I've been looking at them all Yo, day. Yo, can I tell you, somebody tweeted, was like, can we keep the mannequin challenge to kids, like, you know, so the high school kids? I feel like everybody who's done it is doing a it's good lit. job. Like, Yo, did you see the stripper pole one? The pole? Yes, one? The, the one with the one fat girl. Yeah, one you know, I was like, go fat girl, go! Lit. Um, and I saw one where all these guys, they look like they were on break. That was good, but the ones that people are doing now is where they go from one person and then they go to the next person like it's telling a story. So this one was telling a story of some kids woke and they were supposed to be in bed. So it was like the father was leaned over trying to see if they was woke and then it went to them and it showed them like jumping in the air, scrambling to get in bed. And then it showed him coming down the hall with the belt like this. And oh then my it God. showed them like trying to hurry up and put the covers on and they were like, and then it showed them and he came in there and they were all like, oh, it's so lit. Cool. I love it. It's lit. Yo, this one, I cannot find it. I saw it like the first came to me, the first day it came out, it was this college, I mean this high school on Twitter. That is so lit. Like, the teacher is in on it. Uh -huh. Um, I, I saved one on here so you can see it's an all-boys high school. Like, it's, it goes from, like, the bathroom to outside in the hallway oh into, like, one of the classrooms. It's so good. Yeah, and I love it. The two other ones I saw was the Dallas Cowboys, but they were on a plane. I like that, that one. Was lit. Mm -hmm. And it was another one where, um, it was just like the one I was just telling you, except the guy was coming in like from work and the girl was in the bed with another guy with um what's his name king kiran K oh yeah the, king Karan. yeah and they were in bed together and then the guy was walking down the hallway like did i hear something and then they scrambling and then he and then they got king Karan like halfway over the balcony trying to jump out and they still and then the, the guy is coming and he got a gun in his hand and then they run and they get him in the it's lit. I think the mannequin they challenge are creative. Is lit. This they is the nice. best challenge so far because these cinnamon challenges shit y'all can keep that. Fucking I ain't got pumping your damn lips. So once again I just wanted to say you guys please make sure you vote. Go vote, 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 go vote who you want, vote. For Hillary, go vote for who you want. Go vote, vote for Hillary. Go vote. do it for the Clinton time, Clinton time, Clinton time. Do it for the Clinton time, Clinton time. <laughs> go vote. <laughs> <laughs> the next time I talk to y'all, we will have a new president. Oh my God, anxiety overload. Please, y'all, vote, 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 vote. Oh my God, please vote. Oh my oh, God. Does somebody just? Who that? That's amazing. Yo, they opened the door, they looked through the peephole, and then they shut the door. Maybe it wasn't for us. Is the door locked? Oh my god, I hope so. Why don't you lock the door? Let me go check. Hurry up and lock it. Who yeah. is it? Stolen tonight. Oh I don't know. God. I, if you're a Trump voter, I could I could care less. Do it for the land, land, so um, land. again, shout out to everybody who sent Tanea a happy birthday. Thank you, guys. thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And um, 
we'll be back on Thursday. And when we come back Thursday, we will have a new president. Like, I can't get over it. We are. I'm depressed. Obama don't leave to January. I'm depressed, Obama. I'm really depressed. But um, if this is your first time watching, we'll be here every Monday and Thursday with an all-new video. For the people who have been watching, make sure you share this video. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell some she mad as shit like bitch. I mean, I gave her a very little bit. You probably didn't give her like a little point. No, that bitch been throwing oh, up. Oh, I gave her a little bit. I said like 11 o'clock, but like a real small amount. All right, then give her a little bit. I'm not that side. Um, you still got water? Tell your mother, your cousin, your sister, your brother. Tell somebody. Tell somebody about the show. We'll be back on Thursday with an all new president and an all new video. Damn. Vote! And if you didn't know, now you know there's no show like the show who tells you to go out and vote, but only vote for Hillary. If you vote for anyone else, you don't care about it. Holla. Hope for Hillary.